Check it. All right, what's up? You're back for another video with Data Zero, and it is time to get excited. Apes, today we're going to be waking people up about Adam Aaron and the truth about the reverse plate. You're not going to want to miss the second of this update. It's an absolute banger. It is packed full of information that you need to know if you hold AMC stock. We're going to be talking about Adam Aaron, the reverse split. We're also going to be talking about the bars pattern, giving you guys an update and letting you guys know what I expect from AMC here in the near future. We're also going to be looking at the technical analysis on the short and long term for AMC, and we're going to briefly look at spy as well because it looks like the top is in which i called with that being said you're not going to miss a minute of this update it's packed full of information you need to know let's go and hop in the charts facts data let's go we are back for another video with data zero in this video we're looking at spy amc and gme there is so much going on so much to talk about and i want to start off this video by saying this video is not financial advice please do not take it as such i also want to say this video is not meant to offend anyone but we have to talk about the reverse split and think about this logically okay we have to think about this logically so i'm going to cover spy get into the reverse split and everything else so i want to quickly cover spy and get into everything i'm not going to spend too much time on spy um, it, everything's playing out as followed. You guys can see that the head and shoulders is playing out. I posted a video yesterday telling you guys that we would see a head and shoulders here on these smaller time frames, and this is playing out as well. Right here is your shoulder. Right here is your head. Right here is your shoulder playing out and taking us down to about 452. That's exactly what we're seeing today. I do have this downwards channel. I do think we're going to continue following this downwards channel holding 452 as support, getting one more final bounce and actually creating a bigger head and shoulders here on the bigger time frames, and eventually topping out and moving to the downside. We can see that there is a gap fill here to the upside now. So I do think we're gonna continue back up, getting a bounce and then finally top out here on SPY. Momentum is dying out. There's multiple indications. RSI is over, overbought here on the daily time frame. On the weekly time frame, it is overbought as well. Multiple indications that we're seeing a top on SPY. And I did call 450 or 460. I repeat 460 at the top as the top of SPY. I've called this for everyone a couple months ago, letting everyone know that 460 was going to be the top of this rally. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. I do think we're going to see this head and shoulders play out and spy continues to downside after we get one more final bounce and then fizzle out again more evidence of this is market psychology we can see that we have this massive blow off top euphoria rally then we could see it's a slightly lower low we can see that's exactly what's forming here on spy right now we have a massive euphoria rally a uh, high and then a slightly lower low and i do think we're actually about to see a major correction to the downside and i've been saying this over and over and over and over again for months on my video i am preparing for this crash using sqqqq this is what i hold sqqq is looking bullish as well this is going to be more evidence that spy is going to be seeing downside sqqq is making a bullish pennant so right here is a bullish pennant that sqqq is making and it needs to consolidate for a few more days this is a bullish reversal pattern letting you know that this downtrend is going to be ending it's also working on a breakout of a falling wedge you guys can see this breakout of the falling wedge sqqq moves inverse of spy that means when spy goes down sqqq goes up you can see that sqqq is up five percent on the day so as you guys can see this is what i'm using to hedge for the crash and this also pays dividends so while you're waiting for the crash you literally get dividends get payments it looks like we're trying to make a breakout right now. I do expect a rejection and moving back to the downside for SQQQ, which means SPY will also move back to the upside, filling its gap. And this is more evidence that we're going to see a crash on SPY. Also, my last bit of evidence here, other than the technical analysis, which I go over every single day, the multiple sell signals that we're getting as well. Um, we do have the U.S. dollar starting to show strength as well. U.S. dollar puts risk assets down. So when U.S. dollar goes up, things like spy go down this runs inverse of spy and you can see that's actually showing a lot of strength after a major downtrend so we had this major downtrend on the us dollar which is why assets went up so much now it's finding strength and it looks like it might make a reversal and pop up to about 105 107 so i do think we are going to see a crash on spy and i do think it will be affecting amc in a positive way i want you guys to notice that amc is starting to decouple from spy so we're going to get into all of this and more where i think amc is going but we have to talk about the reverse split and why the reverse split is bad again this is not 
to offend anyone. I know some people have gotten tricked and it's okay to admit you're wrong. I used to believe in Adam Aaron. I even celebrated the creation of ape, okay? I'm not telling you that I'm perfect. I'm not telling you that I had this thing figured out all along. No, I had to learn along the way. But you have to think critically. You have to think logically. I have seen so much evidence that Adam Aaron has done to hurt the squeeze that it would be foolish of me to believe that he is on our side. Now, people will often ask me, well, if you don't trust Adam Aaron, why are you still in the play? Well, I have a lot of money tied up in AMC, as, as I'm sure you guys do too as well. I have a lot of money tied up in AMC. Yes, my averages are down enough where I could make profit. Yes, my position is mostly free because I was able to take advantage of the run up to all time highs and sell off all the top and then rebuy back near the bottom. But that does not mean you want to lose money. That does not mean you want to take a loss. I'm currently red in my position. I would need AMC to go to at least $8 to see profit on my overall position on each one of my portfolios. So that being said, I am as trapped as the shorts. I am not taking a loss. That's why I am continuing to average down on these lows and I'm continuing to hold the play. And just because, just because I don't trust Adam Aaron does not mean I do not want to participate in one of the biggest short squeeze plays of all time. Why would I sit on the sidelines of that? If I believe AMC is a true short squeeze play with the short interest that I'm seeing, which I do believe AMC is a true short squeeze play, we're seeing massive amounts of short interest. We're seeing massive amounts of cost to borrow. We're seeing the SEC ignore millions and millions and millions of FTDs. We're seeing the SEC ignore that AMC has been on the threshold security list for over a month. AMC is protected because it's one of the biggest short squeeze plays that we have ever seen in our lives. So it does not matter what the company CEO is, I'm going to participate in that. But it's foolish of me to think Adam Aaron is on our side after seeing multiple sets of evidence pushed in my face that he's not on our side. And it's foolish for you to do the same. Do not believe Adam Aaron is on our side. He's a rich one percenter. He's a rich one percenter and he's not on our side. Now, if we get a reverse split, if we get a reverse split and we see that happen, who benefits from us losing our shares? Okay. If we lose our, if we have a thousand shares and it goes down to a hundred, who benefits from that? Who benefits from that? The short sellers benefit from that. Who benefits from the dilution? The short sellers benefit from that. There's also a rumor that the run-up from all-time highs was caused by dilution. No, let me clear that rumor up for you guys real quick. That is a lie. The ran before the, the ran started before that dilution happened. So the ran started before the dilution happened. Adam Aaron diluted into the run, which ended the run. Okay. Example number one that Adam Aaron is not on our side. Also, the debt and has gone crazy since Adam Aaron has taken over AMC. Also, the creation of Ape. Ever since Ape was made, AMC right here dumped and has never returned back to these levels. This is when Ape was made. It rallied up into Ape. Ape was made and then it dumped. It never returned back to these levels. Another example of how Adam Aaron is not on our side. Adam Aaron has said there will be never a reverse split or a stock split. He's already done a stock split and he's working on doing a reverse split. And the plan that is set up for the reverse split is so diabolical because they can not only make all of their money back by shorting it back down to a lower number, but they can also get out of the play by covering during the reverse split event and getting a flood of new shares when they convert APE into AMC. That's a bunch of new AMC shares for them. Also, they can buy the shares directly from the open market during that dilution event. This is why the reverse split is no good. It affects us on so many ways in a negative light. Not only do we lose our shares, which they need, not only do they get dilution and can buy shares from the open market, but they can make all of their money back that they have spent dumping all of this cost of borrow, trying to short this thing down. We see that the cost of borrow levels are absolutely out of control. They're paying a lot of money to try to keep this thing down and they want to make that money back. That's why when they have a reverse split and do the stock split, we will see 
AMC's price go up and then start, uh, then quickly come back down because they're going to short it back down to re -back, make back their money. And again, it works out all too well with the conversion. Not only do they get a flood of new AMC shares, but they get a flood of new AMC shares from the dilution. They can make their money back. And if I was stuck in a short squeeze, squeeze play and I didn't want to buy my shares back from the retail holders that are holding the, the stocks that I need, the shares that I need to get out of my short position, I would want a reverse split and dilution so I could cover during the reverse split event and I could get a whole bunch of shares from the open market for the national best buy order. That is why the reverse split is no good. Not only that, us losing our amount of shares, let's say you have a thousand shares and it goes down to a hundred, that also helps out the short sellers. The reverse split is bad. Adam Aaron is not on our side. It doesn't matter what he is doing. I still want to participate in the short squeeze play. I still own shares. I've been holding shares for three years. Why would I let shares go that I've been holding for three years? Because I found out the CEO was a snake. I knew I thought Adam Aaron, I used, Adam Aaron used to be the silverback to me. Adam Aaron was the man. I'm not telling you that I'm perfect. It's okay to admit you're wrong. But if you continue to believe lies, that is the most foolish and utterly dumb thing that you could possibly do when you have evidence directly in your face. We have AMC YouTubers going on here defending Adam Aaron after we had a massive pump to the upside and he comes out and says the company's going bankrupt uh don't get too excited the company's going bankrupt guys don't get too excited about this 100% rally you know we're going bankrupt right and then it comes out to be a lie no bro why are you guys listening to this guy? Why do you think he has your best interest in heart? He's a rich one percenter. He's not like you, hoping the squeeze is going to start. He's sitting in his mansion, lending out his millions of shares, making bank off of that, making bank off of putting his money in a banking account and getting the interest payments. They make so much money in so many different ways. They don't care about us. They've been lining their pockets, using the short squeeze play, and creating bag holders, creating believers, and that is what I don't want on my channel. We do not want you guys believing lies, so I'm trying to wake all of the apes up so you do not become a bag holder, a zombie, a follower, believing that this man, a stranger, cares about you and your investment. Do not believe that. So I had to put that out there, that this is all a big misconception. The run to all-time highs was not caused by dilution. The reverse split is no good. And the YouTubers out there trying to defend this man are, and, and I'm not trying, saying this to be mean, but are just pathetic. They're pathetic. Why would you defend a man that not only ruined your investment, but is actively trying to destroy you? It's, it's complete cognitive dissonance and it's Stockholm Syndrome. Don't do it, guys. Don't do it. And it's not meant to offend you or alienate anyone. It's just meant to wake you up. And sometimes you got to get a slap in the face to get wake, woken up. Now, let's go ahead and look at the technical analysis, showing you guys where I think AMC is going to go, where I think we could see AMC going in the future. I want to point out that they only have 100,000 short shares available to borrow. So this is very, very bullish. Now, I did call for a green day on my prediction. I don't think we're going to get that green day today. We're seeing heavy, heavy pullback to the downside. Support levels are four dollars and fifty cents but i want to point out something here for the bars pattern okay the bars pattern remember the bars pattern we have been tracking for the past couple of days we have an update for the bars pattern we can see that it's still tracking yes it is still tracking so we can go ahead and slide this down here to show you guys it's really hard to see when you put it directly over top of it. So I'm kind of just going to leave it hovered over top because the algo is so compressed right now. You're going to see this thing just get tight and it's just going to look like a big bunch of scribbles if I compress it to where it needs to be. So in order to see the actual price path, I'm just going to leave it hovered right above. But you guys can see that we had this big push to the upside. Then we come sharply down, down. big push to the upside, come sharply down. Then we find a bottom. We find a bottom. Then we push back to the upside, getting a nice wick to the upside. We push back to the upside, getting a nice wick to the upside. Then we have this quick bleed out. You see this quick bleed out? Look at this bleed out right here. Look what's happening right now on AMC, but it's holding critical support. A way to know that this thing is still going to play out, look at the run. It's about 50% of the run. So it means that this should hold right at these levels. So that means AMC should go no lower than 
and 70 cents four dollars and 65 cents it should hold those levels as support as it plays out this pattern and then get a sharp bounce to the upside making a higher high so we should come up to about five dollars and 30 cents from the recovery of this bleed out so what i expect to see from amc is the recovery from this bleed out popping to the upside and getting a beautiful bounce to five dollars and thirty cents after we get that bounce from five dollars and thirty cents it looks like we'll get a rejection back down to this level let's go ahead and slide this over just kind of get a brief idea of what we'd be looking at so again we'd get this we would get this recovery bounce up to these higher levels and then have to come back down retesting our base at around five dollars four dollars and eighty cents using that as support and then finally seeing the squeeze event again you do not want to be looking at the dates down here on the bottom because the dates can change because the algo can speed up and slow down but the pattern remains the same so this is what i'm looking at for the bars pattern i do think we're going to see a overall recovery from this and again you do not want to use just a bars pattern you want to use both technical analysis and a bars pattern to make sure that you have confluence and you do not get wrong predictions you make sure your predictions are accurate we can see that volatility is building up bollinger bands are constricting so that is letting us know volatility is coming i do think it's going to be a push to the upside we can see that we are still inside of this falling wedge this is a bullish continuation pattern so we have an uptrend falling wedge which is a bullish continuation pattern so i do expect more upside from this let's go ahead and show you what that would look like here i'm just giving you an example of the bullish continuation of a falling wedge so you have a uptrend then you go into your falling wedge and then you go into another uptrend so that's what i'm looking at here based off of that we are also forming a cup and handle pattern right here so right here is your cup then this will be your handle the breakout target is going to be that five dollar level this would give us a push up to those higher levels that we need for the barge pattern to fulfill as well and we also have buy signals popping off here on amc so let's go ahead and pop on the super trend and show you guys the buy signals that we do have for amc stock we have a buy signal here on the four hour time frame so this is a buy signal triggered by this run-up which has not been untriggered so that means that the trend should continue we also have a fresh buy signal here on the two hour time frame and a fresh buy signal here on the one hour time frame and of course a buy signal here on the daily time frame indicating more bullishness and when in doubt zoom out we can see that we have this falling wedge right here we have a beautiful falling wedge and then we have the uptrend from the falling wedge so we have uptrend falling wedge and then we have another uptrend forming again this is a bullish continuation pattern letting us know that this rounded bottom right here is playing out and i do expect amc to start seeing higher highs here later on down as the months weeks go on i think we're going to continue going up on this uptrend and actually continue to play out what's called a wyckoff accumulation schematic where we actually start to trend back to the upside and recover and start moving in a rounded formation to get that rounded bottom overall coming up to the upside to to what's called a markup so that's where price is accumulated in these lower ranges someone's buying it in these lower ranges a long operator buys it in these lower ranges then it gets pushed up to be sold off to a higher valuation and i do think this is coming as well as the squeeze event we also have major catalysts coming on the way we have judge earn possibly denying the settlement we also have good earnings coming out i do think these earnings are going to be good we're seeing insane numbers in the box office with barbie and oppenheimer so we are going to see continuation and good earnings fundamentals are improving yes the ceo is actively trying to destroy the play but as long as we are aware and awake you guys can understand what's going on and that's why you cannot play the game unless you know all of the rules and that's why i must wake everyone up and me personally i'm in the play i'm staying in the play i want to participate in the play it doesn't matter what the ceo is doing this is a short squeeze play and the shorts have not covered this thing is a volatile bomb i do believe that i believe in moas i am a moas believer and if you believe that why would you not want to participate in that it doesn't matter what the ceo does guys this is pretty much everything i have for you guys today again ftd is going absolutely out of control we're also seeing ape short interest pick up as well this video if you find it informative go ahead and drop a like press subscribe for more content like this and remember check me out on twitter and discord for even more data or updates my discord is 50 dollars for a lifetime invite all you have to do is send me 50 dollars via paypal or cash app hit me up on instagram or twitter link down below to message me and get the link all you have to do is hit me up on twitter or instagram their link down below pay 50 dollars via paypal or cash app i do accept crypto as well and 
If you pay via PayPal, Cash App, or crypto, I will send you the link. It's as easy as that. You can join the community. I have a great community there. We also talk about stocks, cryptos, trades all day long. I post all of my technical analysis, all of my news, all of my updates. I go live there. So there's a ton of value and information there. If you want to check that out, go ahead and hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. $50 for a lifetime invite. And if you want to support me for absolutely free, all you have to do is drop a like leave a comment or press subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you that watched to the end of this video to hear this message. And as always, have fun, stay safe, make money. Peace out. All right, that was the video. If you found it for me, go ahead and drop a like. Press subscribe for more content like this. Remember, you can check me out on Twitter and Discord for even more Data Zero updates. And as always, I hope you're having a great day. Have fun, stay safe, make money. Peace out.